Hi there, I've brought back the buckyball cannon. Here it is. Uh, I was using this uh, box and uh, this coil and the bucky bars in my previous video. But I thought, oh, let's bring back the buckyballs. I love my buckyballs. Nice and shiny still. Probably a bit scratched up with all the stuff I do with them, but they're still magnetic. And um, it holds uh, my coil really well now because uh, around my coil, I've now got a ferrite ring. A couple of ferrite rings. Uh, that I've taped together with uh, metal uh, washers either side and apparently uh, I read on this uh, website that that uh, traps in all the magnetic force and uh, maximizes the potential uh, going to your projectile and I've noticed about 10% difference uh, apparently you have to have a pretty good seal uh, for, for it to be really really effective but it's definitely made a difference and uh, I think it looks a bit better as well. Anyway, um, I'll give you a little demonstration. I'll make sure I've got projectile in there. Yeah, I did. I wasn't sure. Uh, I'm using uh, little bits of metal. These are just bits of mild steel. You can probably get ferrite projectiles, which I reckon would probably be better. This is in the portable mode, by the way. Uh, it's got um, a few more capacitors in there. It's uh, charged up by a um, disposable camera unit. You know, I hold that can there. Really good. Put a hole in it. Not going through, unfortunately, but um, I think I might need more capacitors. Anyway, let's get this projectile back out. And I'll show you, tell you what I mean by this is in portable mode. At the back here, you notice I've got a plug. And that is to plug into my capacitor charging unit. That big boy. Now that is basically a strobe light. And in this strobe light, um, it didn't come like that, obviously. I took it out of its casing and, and put it in my own little box. And there's like your thing to change the rate, and uh, it's got capacitors uh, on, uh, on the strobe unit. Uh, and I've basically hooked up this plug to the capacitors, and I've hooked up that plug to the capacitors in here. And um, basically, it charges them up real quick. Put that on there. There you have it, all connected up. Turn it on. That goes a lot slower because of the recharge, recycle rate goes right down. But you turn that all the way down till it's not flashing anymore, and it will keep the capacitors at 300 and, uh, well, at 327 to 28. Uh, the capacitors in here are um, rated at 330, so that's bang on really. You don't really want to go above that. So uh, I'll show you what it's like with the proper module on there. So I'll get a um, Recharge time of about two seconds. So I might see if I can create a, um, a, magazine, a magazine for this so I can do rapid fire. But for now, the one shot will do. Let's load her up, make sure nothing else is in there. Nope. Put that in. And hopefully, that will go through. Nearly. Anyway, let's have, a bit, let's have a bit of fun. Let's smash a light bulb. Put my projectile back in there. Well, that was fun. Anyway, please rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, definitely subscribe if you want to catch up with um, 
uh, more designs that I'm going to be doing soon, uh, including improvements on this if I can. Yeah, thanks for watching.